Many years ago, the management at Coldstone's Quarry realised that informing and educating the local population about what they do, particularly the younger ones, was an important part of their public relations programme. Originally, we, we, we started an education programme where we were bringing schools around the site. And there are a lot of schools in the, in the area, and it became something that became pretty well unmanageable. So we needed some sort of system of bringing people in in a safe form, in a safe manner, where we where we could show people the quarry from the outside. And that was a, the the first reason why we why we built a viewing platform, the original viewing platform, up on top of the quarry. Because otherwise, unless you can see who's driving it, you don't know which truck is which. Was that driver or was driver that truck? Yes. Is that his like his unless, truck? Yeah, unless he's on holiday, in which case we'll. Put as part of a, a major muck shift, we, we had to create a, a screening bund around the outside of the quarry and the original viewing platform had to be removed. Now, around, as, the plan, as part of the plan of permission for that, for that earth extraction move, we had to build another viewing platform and that's when Biddy Noakes came to me and uh, said to me, Bob, I've got an idea. Uh, Nidhi Noakes Visual Arts went to Bob and said, can we build a piece of artwork which also will be a viewing platform? I mean, this is unique because it will be art and all the public can use it. And it's not often that you can walk around a piece of sculpture. I spent the night in Pateley and I looked at the structure of the streets there and thought how all the materials from uh, the quarry had formed the pavements and the roads and, and a lot of the buildings in Pateley and form them into um, kind of, they're, they're, they're quite narrow the streets in Pateley with, with, with high stone sides. So I started to think about making a cut through the bund and um, then I started to think about what the bottom of the cut might be like. So it might be like a street uh, and that we might particularly use materials from the quarry to make that cut and form the street and form the walls. Um, then I started to think about um, how one might work one set way up from the bottom of the cut and, and so I imagined myself walking into the, this cut through the bund, getting deeper and deeper into it and then how would I get out of it and I thought about, I, I, in fact I looked at the benches and the quarry uh, walls and with what I first thought was that they were spiral benches and that one might walk round and round, gradually working one's way out of the ground. So from the centre of the cut, I started to think about these paths that work their way upwards in a spiral form uh, to platforms that look down into the quarry. So we spent a quite a long time, nearly two years, seeing what kind of money we could put together to do such a wonderful thing. Constructing the Cold Stones Cut began in March 2010. It was to be a massive undertaking that would combine art with heavy construction techniques. This was no ordinary building contract. Huge limestone blocks had been carefully selected and transported up from the quarry. Putting them in place would require the heavy machinery to be used with great precision and extraordinary delicacy. On the 17th of September 2010, the public were invited to attend the official opening. Few knew what to expect, they would not be disappointed. It is fair to say that the Cold Stones cut surpassed all expectations. Somebody remarked that the view from the platform felt almost like looking out from the rim of the Grand Canyon. revolutionary pathway between the stunning landscape surrounding us and the monumental quarry void behind us. I took a phone call from Billy and she says, I've got an idea, can I come up and see you? And five years on, 
that idea is what you see today. Works of this scale are not uh, uh, made very often. And when they are, they represent tremendous acts of faith, not only on the part of the active participants, but also on the part of the community. It's not been an easy path, and it's required a high degree of heroism to get to the end of it. Well, with your joint participation, you made this wonderful piece of art happen. And to everyone else here today, showing the earth that is her res the respect to you, Jew, I thank you all very much for coming. The Cornstones Cut is destined to be a major landmark in the area for many hundreds of years to come. It has shown Coldstone's quarry in a completely new light. It's a remarkable piece of artwork, imagination and collaboration. <laughs>